What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and welcome to Tips and Tricks Thursdays, episode number three. Now, today we'll be talking about capture recording. Now, what capture recording is it, it will basically help you a lot in the creative process when you're recording your music. Basically, what it allows you to do, it allows you to jam with your song, as people say, or just lets you play the song. And as you are playing with, along with it to find the melody, to find the groove, it will automatically record everything you are playing every every piece of MIDI information that you're playing. So if you liked what you just played, you can just bring it right in without having to record it again. Now, if you don't fully understand, you will understand right now. First step we got to do to use this capture recording tool is to turn it on in Logic. So let's go down to the transport bar, hit control, click, control, click on the transport bar, hit customize transport bar. And under the transport section, you will hit capture recording. Turn it on, make sure there's a check mark beside it. What that will do, it will bring up a record button, another record button with a little circle around it. That is the capture record button. So basically what you do when uh, you want to record something in Logic, you would hit record and you will play along with your track and then it will save your MIDI data right there and you will go about your day with recording the song. That's good. You will always be using that, but uh, what capture recording does it allows you to play along with your song as if you are freestyling and just finding out what melody you want to use and it will save exactly what you just played automatically for you so you don't have to go back and play it again if you liked what you played so let me show you that i'm going to go ahead hit play and i'm just going to play along with the song do something here All right, so that wasn't perfect, but let's say that is the general idea of what I want. I can't go back and replay it because, well, that was just too hard to play again. And um, yeah, so it's too hard to play again. I really liked what I played, but I don't want to go back and hit record to record it because I already played it. I don't want to play it again. So I'm going to go down here and hit capture record. And there it is exactly what I just recorded. Logic remembers exactly what I played. And it just brought it in for me easily just by hitting the capture record button down here. And there is exactly what I played. So again, what Capture Record allows you to do, it allows you to just play along with the song as if you are figuring out something. You just play along, whatever you want to do, just play along with the track. And let's say that is exactly what you wanted. You hit stop. Now the tip here is you can't go ahead and hit play again because if you go ahead and hit play again, that erases all the information that you just played. Basically what it does, it, it has one set of cache. So the cache will only record what you played during one play pass through. If you go for a second play pass through, it will record the new stuff. It won't keep the old stuff. So again, you'll hit play, play along with the track. Let's say that is what I like. I can't go back and record that again. Well, simple. We got capture recording in Logic, a really cool tool. So we'll just go down, hit capture record button here, and it'll bring in exactly what I just recorded. So I don't have to go back and hit record and play it again. It's right there. All right, so that is the capture recording. What it does, it allows you to play along with your song. And once you came up with a melody and you don't want to go back and record it again, you don't have to. It's right there. Hit stop, hit the capture record button, and there it is right into your logic logic session without having to go play it again. I'm Adam from Miami Music Mogul. Now you can be more a little more creative because people are always more creative when they're just jamming along with a track rather than hitting record. Because it just, I don't know, I don't know what it is, it's just when you jam with the track, it comes a little along better. And, well, this will help you move along faster because sometimes you play it right the first time, but you can't reenact it the second time or third time. It takes you a couple takes to get it right. So that is the capture recording. I hope you use it a lot. It is a good tool. I'm Adam from I'm Music Mogul. Remember to subscribe, comment, rate my videos, and, uh, well, more great stuff coming soon. I'll talk to you guys later, and see you next week. Later.